In this video, I'm going to fix an issue in my telekinesis system. It's where you throw the telekinesis object at a geometry collection, and it doesn't shatter because a geometry collection is not a static mesh. And this is only set to destroy when it hits a static mesh. So let's go ahead and fix that. And if you're interested in the telekinesis system, and if you haven't watched the video, go ahead and check it out here by clicking on this card. I'm just going to select the wall. This was a geometry collection actor, and I'm going to click create blueprint and I'm just gonna create a geometry collection actor and then I'm gonna click on add I'm gonna select the geometry collection then I'll click on add and I wanna add a box collision I'm just gonna size it up to overlap this mesh so essentially this is what you wanna do with your geometry collection you wanna with your geometry collections you want to turn them into this kind of blueprint and then add a collision on them whether it's a box a sphere depending on the shape of your collision all right so we go back into our tk object underscore bp where we're checking if it's a st static mesh component or if it's a character well, well now we'll just we'll add a sequence to that sequence we'll add an execution pin to that and then we'll off the other actor we'll search for cast to geometry collection actor all right, and then the then two will connect that, and then we'll just run this over to where this is checking if the static mesh that's being thrown is valid. So it's basically the same thing as the other two. If it's if the casting fails, it'll do nothing. Otherwise, if it's successful, it will be able to be thrown. Um, there you go. All right, again, sorry about that. Now, if you want to get into throwing geometry collections, I'm not going to do the tutorial now because it would take a while, but where we're checking in this trace for TK object, we can also search for a geometry collection component, you know, because the geometry collection actors have a geometry collection component, and you can check for that just like you do the static mesh, and you basically can recreate that static mesh code, you know, create a variable for your current geometry collection selected actor, and then, you know, create a function for releasing your geometry collection actor. And then, you know, you can kind of create this kind of the same timeline, the same throwing timeline for your geometry collection actor. So that's kind of the path that you would take if you want to start going that route. But uh, rather than I, I can do a tutorial on that eventually, just I'm not going to be able to get that to that anytime soon. So thanks for checking this out. And I hope this helped. Thank you.